Good morning, everyone. It is estate sale day. I've been so excited. Today, I have actually 10 estate sales that I need to attend to, so I'm up pretty early. Obviously, you can hear the construction workers in the background. They're up early as well. Uh, so I'm going to get my coffee and get in that car and get out there. They say the early bird gets the worm, right? So 10 estate sales. So I'm feeling the pressure, feeling the anxiety a little bit, but you know what? I'm a firm believer is... Um, what's meant to be yours will be yours so when i get there we'll see what we get i can't wait um so in this video what i'm going to do is um just after i get done talking here i'll show you a little bit of like one of these estate sales or something like that just to give you an idea what what they're like kind of thing i don't want to do a whole lot of that because i don't want to make you guys dizzy and you're kind of like this and that but the cool thing is you can kind of feel the pressure the excitement and the tenseness when you are in a room with a bunch of people looking through things and trying to grab what you can while you can kind of thing. Um, I will be doing video footage of one I'm sure in particular I did see it was an amazing sale because a lot of times when you go to to check out estate sales um, if you want to there's a link down below it's called estatesell.net um, you can go there and put your zip code in there and it tells you all the different kinds of estate sales going on um, in your area in that particular area and when you click on that it gives you all kinds of estate sales that I usually plan mine like I said there's 10 today and so click on that link put your zip code in there and when you click on the estate sales that they offer you they show you pictures of exactly what is kind of like gonna be at that estate sale so you kind of give an idea what like that's how I prioritize what estate sales I go to kind of thing um, so there's one in particular, so I'm sure I'll get some footage of that for you guys. Not a whole lot, um, again, I don't want to make you dizzy, but at the very end of the video is going to be the lengthy part of this video will be showing you like what I got. Now don't forget today, it should be, today should be Saturday because I'm pre-recording this. Today should be Saturday Night Live. So tonight is the live sale, so a lot of things you'll see today in this video should be in that live, um, unless someone said they wanted it before the live. Um, so if you are interested in anything that I do show in this video, please email me down below is my email address as well. Sorry, I'm a little tired, <laughs> but we could do this. We could do this. Um, so just email me first come first serve. I'll go in the order of the can before I go on a live. So don't worry if I didn't get back at you right away. I definitely will get back with you via email before live tonight. Um, so, all right, guys, you ready? Let's get in this car. I'm not going to show you that part. I'm just going to get in the car and go. <laughs> and uh, I'll see what we got going on here. So stay tuned and check this out, guys. Thank you guys for being a part of this. This is the fun part is uh, finding some really cool things. My daughter doesn't believe me that I've seen the sale with the most uh, books ever. I'm waiting for the line, but I was waiting for that line to die down There's so much. Holy cow. Never. the binder. I'm just going to grab it for the binder for somebody I'm not interested. It's a really cool binder. Thank <laughs> you. 
Making you guys dizzy. There's so much war stuff. Oh, how cool. So much stuff, guys. So much stuff. It's just overwhelming. The line is huge. <coughs> I'm just going to sneak right through here. I won't sneak in line, I promise. There's my pile. I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Everyone. I finally got everything loaded up in the house and now I can share it with you guys. As you can see, this is just a handful of things I just kind of threw on the table. There was a whole lot to show you. I went to two estate sales today that I meant to hopefully tackle 10 estate sales today. But um, after I went to the second one, I was beat. I mean, there was so much stuff that I got my hands on. I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and dig in. Um, I'll start with the paperweights. There were so many beautiful vintage paperweights. Um, this one's the Florida one. Look at this one. I mean, this is just a handful of what I got. This guy was a collector of all kinds of beautiful things. And uh, this is one here. It's just amazing. I wish I can show you guys the best I can. It's like a nice coral like reef in the middle. And then there's different, um, obviously you can see the different fish around there. It's like an egg shape. It's really adorable. Turtle one. Oh my gosh. I fell in love with him. I guess I should say I fall in love with all of them. <laughs> I'll put it on top of this book. This book is really cool. I know this one here is definitely going to go up for auction. I know a lot of people are going to be wanting their hands on this. I figured I will just put it up for auction. I just can't wait to show that one. That one's a gorgeous one. It's a cute little, um, turtle and I love how if you see the circle of bubbles in there if you can see it's circular it's neat how they are able to do that it's really cool this one here is I don't know if you can see it all kinds of different shells it's actual real shells and so I look at the sand dollar as well really cool and this one here is Monticello home of Thomas Jefferson I love paperweights gorgeous all right this book so if you're probably wanting to know this book I'm gonna wait till I put the camera down on the table so I don't have to hold this up like this with anything um, coming out but it's called schoolgirl days and it's pretty much a diary a record book actually um, that this uh, woman had recorded everything it's really really cool I'll go through books later but I'll just kind of give you kind of a glance I have a pile of amazing books to show you guys for the live. So I put those books aside until later. Oh my gosh, there are so many cute things. I got this really, uh, it's a brass and then a uh, brass ink well holder. Um, as you can see here, it's like a, I think it reminds me of like a couch kind of thing. And this is glass where the ink would go in. And then there's the topper. Isn't that gorgeous? All you need is a beautiful pen to go with this set. So I got that. I was looking for different kinds of stamping and markings, but it's an oldie and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh my gosh, these clogs. Look at these wooden clogs. Aren't they adorable? Here's the name. But look how adorable are they. Those are totally going to go into the vintage shop. So as you can see here, it's wood at the bottom. This is leather at the top kind of thing. And there's the brand right there. Um, adorable. I'm definitely going to have to look those up. They're just so cute. 
Um, then I found these. I thought of my neighbor because he loves anything um, like Japanese, Chinese, um, that kind of thing. And what they are, as you can see, here's the front and the black, back, sorry. They're like perfume bottles, like the cute little blown glass with the cork. Isn't that cute? It's like a set. I haven't done any research on them, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'll show these in the live sale, but they also will be in a more vintage finds shop. Down below is the link for you guys. Um, also, some of these items will be in a more uh, fabrics, which is some crafty stuff for right now. This is the vintage stuff I was going to show you guys that I did find that they every bit of this is up for grabs kind of thing. I did get this, however, the only thing that's not up for grabs is for my daughter, Abby. My fingers, I've washed them. This, this sale was so cool, but my hands were so dirty at the end. But she loves anything British, you know, and this cool metal, like a telephone booth. And then what it is, it's a pencil sharpener. Isn't that cool? And then this door opens to get the clippings out kind of thing. She loves Harry Potter and that. So that's for my daughter. It's the only thing I think out of all this, it's not going anywhere. Um, this cool wooden chest and that I'm going to show you guys at the very, very end. I bought it with it being locked. I couldn't believe it. It's a really beautiful, uh, I'm not sure what kind of wood, but this is a well-made chest. I did buy this. So I'm wrong. I lie guys. I did buy this for my grandson, Charlie. Those who know Charlie, he loves wooden chests. I'll show that in more detail, but I have no clue about what's inside. So I can't wait to have my husband bust this thing open without ruining the um, the fixtures here at all, which I don't think it's going to be tough to do. But I was chingling it around and it sounded like money's in there. I have no clue. I'm curious and I figured you guys could open it up with me kind of thing. Um, this beautiful, look at this here, tapestry type of purse was so cute about it. Is It's got the cute little comb as well. It looks like it's made by Walborg, made in West Germany. It's got the cute, she's got tissue right there. It's like a silk, it's like silky satin liner. And it has the, the little comb that, ma that goes with it. And it is so cool. So there is that. That's definitely going to go in a vintage shop as well. This tin, I absolutely fell in love with. There's stuff in it. It came with it. I I don't care about this stuff on the inside, but look at the feet. Look how ornate that is. And this guy, sorry, the thing in, is made in West Germany, and it's by um, Freddie and Mac. Made by Freddie and Mac, West Germany. I'll look that guy up. But the tent top comes off like that. All that stuff was inside. I have no clue. I'll check it out and see if there's anything worth keeping. But isn't that the most darling? Look at the lip of that as well. It's a beautiful tin. Um, this tin too. Look at Lucky. How cool is that? It's Lucky Strike cigarettes. Um, it says Merry Christmas. Looks like it was a Christmas tin. Here's the back. And it's just a cute tin. I just thought it was gorgeous. I love tins. Do notice a slight little dent there. I think that, or the light caught it. Yep, right there. But it is rather cool, rustic, and I could totally see someone using it for something. I'm not sure, but it's cute. I can't wait to open up that chest. I did get a bunch of different applique napkins, um, applique, and uh, I think cross stitch. Uh, which way did this go? But isn't that just darling? So this is like a set of four, I think. And then we have cross stitch and like embroidered kind of napkins in that same pile. Oh my God, there's so much guys. Um, I did get this one. Sorry, I did have something else. My grandson Oliver loves hats. And I thought that is a cute hat for him. I'm not sure what that brand is, if it's anything, but he totally rocks the hats. So I'm totally got that for Mr. Oliver. Um, I did get this really adorable cashmere wool. I'm leaning towards more wool. I got to stitch down this one little bud. That's it right there. Came loose. Let me move this here really quick. It is a throw. 
and then it has the fringe here at the bottom. But look at those beautiful floral buds. Totally wool. Feels like cashmere. It's really soft for a wool um, than anything. It is a throw. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just in love with it. It's totally a lap quilt. And you can see the beautiful blues and greens. And then those rosebuds just kind of pop right out. Absolutely gorgeous throw. And then I got this really cool Pickens basket. I was looking for a name, but I totally remember doing, using this for getting beans and stuff like that to snap from the garden. Beautiful, gorgeous one. Definitely an oldie. As you can see the nails nailed down the um, and the handle is sturdy it's a wooden handle wire and wooden handle and it's working really really well so I did check it out I did carry a lot of stuff in it too as well it's a gorgeous one I love with that one love to keep it all kind of thing um, some more books this here was interesting I have no clue it reminds me of like a military book I got it just for that, the binder. I figured maybe somebody, does anyone know what this means? I don't know, it just was different. I loved it, it was grungy looking. And inside it says national. It almost reminded me of like, oh, military. Really cool. So the rings were just fine. They had put in here like some kind of paper from like scanned paper. Here you go. Property of the U.S. government. I'm correct. This, this binder is really cool. The, the rings work really good. I did check it out. It says, Made in USA, MS, Gen and Company, Washington, D.C. Property. I just loved it. It's like a khaki green. And who knows what the stuff's in it. So everything else inside is just copied, like paper of stuff. Not sure of what. But interesting book, I thought. We'll go through the books later here in a little bit. Let me move some room here off this table because I want to do that for you. I did find a vintage quilt and then there's this here. This is a bedspread that is a, a full size bedspread and it's totally hand done. It's got ruffles on the border. Nothing wrong with this. It is beautiful. It's heavy as heck, but it is beautiful. I was thinking about cutting it up but I won't. I'm going to sell it as a whole. I was thinking about cutting all those little doilies out kind of thing, but I'm not. I'm going to sell it as a whole. I'll have the measurements and everything for that available. The chest will do last, people. I'm telling you, I can't wait till my husband opens that up for you guys. But let me press the pause on the camera. I'm going to bring it down so then I can show you some other stuff, but closer. So hang on one second. Okay, here we go. Here is the school days uh, book, like I told you guys. I'm only going to do some detail of this, but the rest, I'm going to go really, really fast. So this book is really cool. I seen it and I grabbed it. It pretty much is, um, as you can see here, there you go. I don't even know what year yet. I haven't had a chance to relook at it. I just got it out of the, um, of the box kind of thing. But it says this book belongs to and graduated from. They did not write in it, which is really neat. And you can see the first thing you have here is pressed flowers. Wish I knew of when and the story behind it, but nothing's written. And then there's this packet here, which I'll open up here in a second. And this tissue. I don't know if you guys can see this tissue. I seen it when I first started. I'm not sure what. I'll put it aside. And it says the school girls' days, a memory book. Our youth can have but today. Designed and illustrated by Carl Powers Wilson's Chicago, um, pretty much publishers. It doesn't have the year, but it pretty much goes through her class, year, uh, colors, class, office, all that. But look at the pages. She didn't write in it at all, but she did lay stuff inside of it. She's a scout leader. That must be her. Cool how the paper discolored there. There's so much stuff in here. I'll go more in detail on the live because with the live sale, it'll be an auction. And then this here. All, there's all kinds of stuff inside here. Oh, looks like she did write. She did write on this here and I can go over it later. But there's a whole lot of beautiful things in here. I got to scan through a few things. It was really, really neat. Okay, let's open it up. 
but I can totally see you guys scanning these pages. It must be her there. She's beautiful. Let's see here. There's so many loose things. She didn't glue nothing down. It's just loose on the inside. So much I don't know. I think it'd be fun um, as a surprise in the live to see all the things in it kind of thing. The pages, I'm telling you, are just gorgeous. It's nice that she didn't write in a whole lot of them. Ah, here we go. Now we're talking. I know there's photographs and stuff in there. Look how cute that is. This is the society class of some sort. It's on the society page. This is best wishes for your graduations, like a graduation card. Looks really cool. We'll go through it more later. Nin 1931. Household Arts in May of 1931 is that. This kind of gives me an idea of the year. Looks like she has a flower she dried. It's just really cool. Where that tissue? Well, can you guys totally see? Your, go ahead and um, copy in some of these pages. I know you guys do a lot of your digital downloads kind of thing. Anyways, it is filled with all kinds of other things, letters, papers, and things. Just curious. Some kind of ribbon. I'm not sure what. Anywho, oh, sorry, I forgot about this here. Let me put that back on the first page. This looks kind of cool. It's like this cute envelope. It's like a bank envelope, actually. It's a really cool one. But that looks like it's her class photos. And other little doodads in there. Class cards. Like you, back then they would hand, you know, their student cards. Friends. Some article, comments. Looks like she get um, like a certificate for like a certain breakfast. Interesting. I'll look that up. Some kind of article here, which I can go through later. So that's all part of that. I can go through it later. There's that book, which is really really cool. Um, I did get a bunch of military stuff here, like these boxes here, these cute. So I can do it here. Like this beautiful box, wooden box, it's like a tongue and groove, I think, or nailed down. But in it is a ton of different, which I need to do my research, of um, different military type of patches and stuff. I'm not too sure about what symbol means what color the eagle's facing, which way it means a different thing, kind of thing. So all kinds of military type of patches, ton of those. I did get some baseball ones too. Like here is the oh, Cincinnati Reds, the Mets, the A's. I know I have Cubs in here. I showed it to my husband. The Red Sox, Dodgers. But the Reds is a bunch of military um, and I need to look it up to figure out Where's the A's. What means what? I mean, there's just so many um, beautiful, but what I think you guys will absolutely love more than anything on top of this here was this book and it says my life and it's leather bound in the service and in here, look at, I can use this as reference to some of these patches because it tells me, you know, what type of patch it is on the inside and outside of this book and inside, let me just see this paper. It's like a journal for the person who's in service. See the paper? Different like information, ranks, hair color, has your social security number. It's all like your book of reference. Isn't that cool or what? It's not used at all. I thought it was really, really cool. And then this was cool. It was a set of Operations Yellow Ribbon 
Desert Storm trading cards. It's like a pack of trading cards that I thought was interesting. I'm, I don't know. I got to look it up. But pretty much it's like different operations. Obviously the Operation Yellow Ribbon Desert. Is that Desert Storm? I'm, I'm assuming Desert Storm. So, and it has information on the back for those in the military. Because where we live in Pensacola, it's big military people out here. So, so there's that box. I thought that was a really cool box. And then I got this other box. You guys know I love my boxes. Really, really cool box as well. Yeah, that one looks like more tongue and groove. But in it, it says House of <coughs> Windsor Palms. But these are first day stamp cards. They are sealed, stamped, and it has in a plastic thing here, the stamp. It's the 50th anniversary of World War II com com I can't even say it, commemorative covers. And they're sealed. I'm not sure why they're sealed. Is that to make it official? I think. I'm not sure. And then first day stamp envelopes are here down here as well but these are all military here excuse me for the 50th anniversary of world war ii see the different stamps again they're all sealed i gotta look them up i'm not sure interesting these are cards here there's more so i got a whole pile I think there's like a certain type of, and there's the cards that go with it, explains it. Um, I just got to look them up kind of thing. And they're pretty well, they got the stamp, and then that stamp, and then the stamp seal of when it was the first day stamp kind of thing. Anyways, I need to look it up and check it out. It has the different battles, the different um, things. Naval battle at Gua, can't even say the word. Anyways, it was just a cool box to have fun with kind of thing. I have that. And then the different kinds of books I got too. I did get a vintage quilt, which is a vintage bow tie quilt. I can show you guys. This one is Historic Girls, which is a rather cool one, which I'll show on the live. Really, really cool. Uh, Butterflies and Moss. This is a really neat book. Lots of beautiful matte colored pages. This was really cool. Miss uh, Wigs of the Cabbage Patch. The book cover was cool. I don't know, they have a whole lot of uh, color pages on the inside. I get the year later, but it's a really cool book, I thought. Mushrooms, you guys love your mushrooms. This is a really cool book about mushrooms and stuff for those who like the fairies and mushrooms kind of thing. Butterflies and Moss, another really cool book. And of course, Butterflies and Moss. Looks like they have some articles and stuff in here as well. Look at the moth kind of thing. It's kind of fell out in the middle. But um, it's just all about butterflies and moths kind of thing. It's really, really cool. I think you guys will love that one. Fish, for those who like nautical and fish. Looks like the same books of eyewitness books. Really cool. But this one's another cool butterfly book I fell in love with. Hardback, The Treasury of Butterflies in Color. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll definitely be showing that in the live as well. Definitely see auctioning off some of these guys for you guys because they're absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful book. Totally beautiful. I should call my husband to open up this box here in a minute for you guys. I got a few more things to show you. Uh, oh, just a few. Let me raise this up just a little bit for you guys. There we go. A basket full. I mean, I full of cards. I mean, I have, we have the vintage Mickey Mar Mouse mini cards, uh, myth and legends uh, type of playing cards, card packs. I mean, I have hit the card lotto, tons of card packs. I have a whole bunch of the Christmas, which I should save for Christmas in July, uh, Christmas Santa 10, full of the Santa card sets. There's so many different kinds. Um, filled like a double packs going on here. We have the Norman Rockwell kind of designs coming up. This whole pile is nothing but Santa. Um, wish I had this before Christmas, I'm telling you. Lots. I got a whole pile I know of Santa, but this whole other side is just filled. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know where to begin. 
with a ton of vintage cards. I mean, no matter where I go, it's just a ton of vintage cards for you guys. Um, so let me show you here too. Vintage Cabbage Patch playing cards that are, what are playing cards or what? I don't know. Maybe someone can message below. What the heck is this? But um, it's like Cabbage Patch dolls, but like gory ones. I have no clue, but they're stickers. They're a card. And you peel off the sticker. Like, here's the back of the cards. Anyone familiar with this? I got it totally like wanted for gross neglect. Oh boy. Anyways, it's just a bit more of the uh, vulgar type of Cabbage Patch. I mean, I have never seen anything like it before. Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> Garbage Pail Kids cards. I guess that's what it is. I see at the top. Garbage Pail Kids. Prickly Rick. Oh my goodness. It's just a bit different. <laughs> I'll have to say, I had to grab them just for the sake of different. Um, I think it's really, really rather cool. So... Those will go over through the live. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh gosh, guys. I have, like, this is gonna be a surprise. I have no clue. I need to go through it later. It's one of those uh, vintage sewing boxes, but I do notice there's a bunch of goodies on the inside. And one thing in particular is one reason why I bought it. But of course, when you see gold, you know you need to look. So I just glanced at it. I don't know. I'm gonna look at it. That totally, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that okay, is totally diamond and gold right there. This here, you could tell the difference. And uh, I know just, just being opening up this case, I'm like, let's grab that. We could deal with it later. Here it is right here. Yep. I can even tell by the screw uh, studs backs, the backings of this. Um, here we are. Kind of see. So you got the two diamonds there, you got the gold drop, and the two little diamonds at the bottom. Totally adorable. So that's what really got me. I have no clue what else is in here. I haven't had a chance to look. This is what bought the case. <laughs> so I'll check that out later and see what else goodies we got going on in here. I have no, no, no clue. Um, oh, look at We got the needle cards. Love needle card packs. So there's that. That's like a surprise pack I have to go through later. Of course, the box will be up for sale. Um, and whatever else is inside. Okay, let me go ahead and grab the man and see if we can figure out what is inside this box. Hang on a sec. Okay, we're back. That was quite interesting. My husband had opened up uh, the box with handy dandy pliers. He just took that little piece out there. We can fix it for the grandson later. But... Now we can kind of see what's going on. Oh, let's see what's inside the chest. Oh, look how cool this chest is. I don't know if you guys can see this. This thing is solid wood. And we do. I knew we had money in there. I knew it. I heard it when I was jiggling it around. I'm not sure what it is. But we got some money that's cased in here. I'll have to look this money up and tell you guys what is what. There's two more here. I'm not too sure. Who knows? Maybe we got rich here, guys. I have no clue. I will figure this out. Let's see here. Wonder. This is 1933, the Liberty. Um, I'm not sure. I have to look at that. Um, I'm not sure. Looks like these are a dollar, dollar. I think was this a half dollar, maybe? I have no clue. This one is... Have to look it up, guys. 1971. Hey, like I said, though, there was money in there. I'm trying to think what else was in there. Um, you could totally tell this is a boy's thing. It looks like this did have like the hinges on the side because this thing is heavy. I'm telling you, this is one solid wooden box here. Um, everything else looks great. I have to have my husband reinforce this thing. I have to say, it is one. Cool treasure chest and hey I was correct there was money in there so I'm sure some child had that locked up thinking he had something fancy dancy worth saving but hey I know my grandson's gonna absolutely love this box oh I guess before I leave I should show you the cool quilt so I do have it's called the bow tie vintage quilt 
that is also going to be up for grabs for tomorrow, unless it's gone before tomorrow. If anyone's wanting it, I can give you measurements um, and pictures and all that, but it's pretty cool. So it's a bow tie pattern. It's got all the retro colors in there. There's floral cottage chic and butterflies. If I get a close up here for you guys. As you can tell, it's the bow tie and totally retro. It is hand stitched and the backing of this guy, look how cute green that is, is a red. So there is some thinning in some areas. Again, hand stitch, it's gorgeous. It's a twin size. Um, there you guys have it guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. There's a whole bunch more I did not show, but don't forget tomorrow night, or if you're watching this, it's Saturday Night Live and Sunday Night Live. Holly and I are going to do a live sale, um, just for like two or three hours each night instead of doing one long night of craziness. So I hope you guys join me. All information's down below. Don't forget to join us, guys. It'll be 7 p.m. Central Time. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one.